Hi everybody, and welcome to Abort Retry Fail. Now we're playing a newer game today. This actually just came out a couple days ago. It's called the Charnel House Trilogy. Um, I played the demo of it, and it seemed creepy, and it had a really great atmosphere. Old-fashioned graphics and everything, which I'm particularly fond of. So I figured I'd give it a shot. Yeah, I wonder what that inhaler's for. Guess we're gonna find out. So, we've got three chapters, hence the name Trilogy. Let's start out with Inhale. So, it's another good evening to you, my fellow cheated hearts of New York City. Good news! The blizzard's finally stopped. That's a relief. But the weatherman says there's a rainstorm coming. Ah, shit. Just what we need, some good old-fashioned New York rain. So close your windows, lock your doors, wrap up warm and settle in for another evening with me, Kenna Martin, exclusively here on BC 304 FM. I'll be taking you all through the night and right up to the graveyard shift. That's great. Because whoever heard of employment laws, huh? I can't get enough of your so to kick voice things acting. Off with a personal favorite of mine, Here's Forever by Nervous, Nervous Test, Test Pilot. That's a great band name. All right. Oh, I'm it a girl. It stopped nice. snowing days ago. I ran out of excuses not to go and see him. I don't want to think about this. Let's see who? We're going to find out. Oh, man, interact with the mouse? Who to thunk? All right, what do we got? Wait, that's a pot plant? Let's check it out. My adorable little pot plant. Gavin used to call him Dave. I called him Gilbert. Gilbert it is. Is that a thing in New York? Do people just keep pot plants as pets? Gavin's old coat. It's been here since... Since... Well, the night he left, I guess. My birthday. Classy guy. No way. I do wish you he'd poor come girl. and pick the damn thing up, though. Alright, what's in here? A portal to an exciting other world. Or as the landlord calls it, the bathroom. Bathroom's gonna be exciting. I've had lots of fun in bathrooms. Playing a game would be perfect about now. If only I could concentrate. No, what's Books, in there? Books, games, a couple of CDs. Very me. And an asthma inhaler, for some reason. No idea who left it here. Might have been Sophia. Hope she has another. Although since she hasn't been here for over a month, I guess she does. All right. So there's an asthma inhaler on there for some reason. Now what do we got? Let's check the radio. I prefer to leave it on. I like the ambiance. All right, great. What's this? Cabinet? Well, shit. It's locked. I don't recall locking it. In fact, I don't recall it ever having a key. Huh. Well, that doesn't make a lick of sense. Is that a phone? It's a novelty phone. Gavin got it for me. It looks like a crow. There are messages on the answering machine. That's badass. I wish I had a crow phone. Uh, what else we got here? Sofa? Sure, yeah. I'll go to bed at 7 in the evening. That'd be suitably pathetic. Hey, don't knock it. Sometimes you just want to go to bed early. The kitchen. I'm not actually a bad cook. I just usually can't be bothered. It's really weird. Having the kitchen behind a door like that. Usually it's open between a kitchen and an apartment. But who knows, maybe they just didn't want to draw the kitchen. What else do we got? A coffee table? My mom gave me this when I moved here. Gavin had to fix one of the legs a few months ago. Oh god, never mind. It houses a bunch of old games magazines, last Tuesday's copy of the paper, and an ashtray. What a life. Come on, Alex. It's Gavin this, Gavin, and Gavin, Gavin, There's Gavin, all the freaking the time. Radiator. Maybe I can reach it. You gotta move on with your life. All right. Ah, got it. A parcel I hadn't opened a yet. A parcel? Let's see. A DVD of Strangers on a Train. I bought this for Gavin. Ugh. Back behind the radiator it goes. Yeah, Alex, you gotta move on. Washington Square Park the other day when I uh, saw we got the fabulous voiceover from the radio. conversation with herself, apparently. Nobody else around, but she was really going at it, arguing with air almost. She was a redhead like me too, a bit older though, and you know what I realized? That's me, that is. When I eventually get fired from the station and end up missing talking to you guys so much that I just go full throttle talking to myself instead. So to the anonymous woman talking to herself in Washington Square Park, I salute you. You gave one insecure DJ some hope for the future. That is fantastic. I get the feeling that a lot of the people doing voice for this game are actually British and they're trying to imitate an American accent. And even some of the stuff that's written out, like how she called a package a parcel, uh, that sounds pretty British, too. So. I want to, but I think I've got something to do first. 
All right, fine. Let's check the voicemail. It's a novelty. I know, I know. Let's go. Slide on I over. I don't feel like calling anyone, but I suppose I should listen to the messages. Go for it. You have two new messages. First new message received today at 1.18 p.m. Congratulations. <laughs> you have won tickets to the Krennic on Thames Museum's latest exhibit. Straight from the catacombs of Augur Peak, this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... Tickets to an English museum? This is New York, kids. Not interested. Message deleted. <laughs> Second new that was weird. Received today at 6:29 p.m. Hi, Alex. Oh, Mom. told me you'd been in. Should have let me know. I'd have made sure I was here. It's been a while. I'm sure your dad appreciates it, love. You know he'd tell you that himself if he could. Call me on my cell when you get this. Goodbye. Love you. Bye. End of final message. Bye, Mom. I didn't call, Mom, because I knew you would be there, and I couldn't do it if you were. <sighs> I don't know why. Please don't hate me. Ah, screw it. I'll call her in the morning, right? Right. Yeah. God damn it. Talking to myself. My therapist says it's my desire for an audience, for company. I say it's because I constantly feel like I'm being watched. But you are, Alex. We're all watching you. Who's this, the inventory? Yeah, I got nothing. I like her t-shirt, though. I wonder what the T stands for. Tacos? Ter the snow might have stopped, but it's still utterly freezing. I'll pass. Thanks. All right. Can't commit suicide. Check that. Need to do something with the computer over here. Got tower. Power on. Good idea. Man, oh man, five minutes to boot up. It must be an old computer. Holy crap. That's subtle. I'm not changing it. I kind of like bitter reminders. All right, so what am I going to do? Keyboard? Right. Let's do this. Oh, look. Drama as my favorite reviewer gives a game a low score. Whatever. I've always loved his writing. Very personable. Makes me feel like I know the guy. Oh well, no time for that now. Gotta track my package. It has to be here today. You guys ever get weirded out when you use a computer in a game and you're staring at a computer in a game on a computer and the God damn it. What like what I if she was to start here? watching a video of someone watching a computer of someone playing uh, I'm when I was drunk. I don't even want to think about oh, it. Oh yeah. Alright, so we need password. Where do we write the password down? And is it on the dog? What is that? A memento. Gavin won this for me in one of those claw machines. No idea how he did it. Some kind of wizardry. Weird. All right. Oh, maybe this is a password here. Oh, here it is. Nice. I think. So type again. Do I have to look at it? The writer walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. Uh, that's a really terrible way to keep passwords. So it's got to have something to do with the bookshelf, maybe. There's a certain line or passage in the book. Let's take a book look. Let's do this then. All right, we got an inhaler. Can we take it? Sophia's inhaler. Might as well bin this. Yeah, this is definitely tomorrow. British. Bin this. The Mirror by Graham Masterson. I remember this being pretty terrifying when I was a teenager. I wonder if it'd hold up. I don't know, I never heard of it. Sanctum by Madeline Rue. <laughs> this just came out. I have an especially strong connection to her writing. I can't wait to read Funny it. Funny story about this. In fact, everyone should. Yeah. Uh, the w woman doing the voice for our hero, Alex, is actually this uh, Rue woman. Uh, she, she did the voice. I'm not sure if she helped in the creative process for this game, but yeah, she's the voice talent for our main character, which is pretty cool. And they let her flog her book. Right here in the great game. Coastal Walks of the British Isles, Volume 2. I checked this out of the library years ago, then forgot to return it. Don't ask me why. I've never even been to Britain. Hopefully the librarian's forgotten. Yeah. Well, it sounds like it. What'd the notes say? The 
Walks the shores where... Well, it seems like th that would be in there somewhere, but let's keep looking. Leaving Megalopolis by Gail Simone. I bought this because I loved her run on Secret Six, but I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Hmm. Ayn Rand's Atlas Oh, God, Shrug, that book. A beautiful novel by an author whose beliefs I totally agree with. What? Just kidding. Rand was a fucking troll. Okay, good. I only bought this thing because <laughs> of Bioshock. I was almost going to have to rage quit. Yeah, Ayn Rand's terrible. If you haven't heard about it, Death, look her up. She's, um... Living, I personally don't believe in my anything that she wrote. Game in books. All the onk-wearing wannabe teenage goth girls in the world can't kill my love of the endless. Also, who am I kidding? I was totally an onk-wearing wannabe teenage goth girl. Aw, me too. I still am. Special Topics in Calamity Physics by Marisha Pessel. The only time I've wanted to slap and hug the main character at once. Good book. Hmm. Louis Cassell's The Charnel House Burial. My prized first edition copy. The one memento from Gavin I'll never get rid of. Oh, Cassell. You are a strange hmm. and troubled man. I wonder whatever happened to you. Yeah. Is that a real writer? For your graduation. Sounds like a cool I book. I hope there will always be room in your spectacular mind for me. You are my island. Love you forever and always, Gavin. No. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Cassell famously became a hermit while writing this book. The island he moved to was called Augur Peak. I remember now. Augur Peak 1318. Banana. -na. To the computer! Go, go, go! Oh, if I click a lot. There we go. Great. Keyboard. I resent it. having to pay special delivery for train tickets, but I need them today. Can't you just print those the out? This train isn't for two no. weeks. I can't wait that long. What? The site says it was delivered and signed for. Mm -hmm. I don't recognize that signature, and even I would have remembered signing for it today. It looks like it says Benwood or something? What? Well, great. Fucking perfect. I need those tickets. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe they'll still come. Maybe the website's fucked. It's too late to call them now. What else can I do but wait? I don't know. You make a sandwich? Ah, jeez. Whoa. Who's that guy on the couch? Now it's storming. And this is gonna be fun, making my way to the station by midnight. I'm not being sarcastic. I just want the tickets to get here. Guess I'd better find a way to spend my evening, then. I don't feel like playing a game, so maybe a DVD is in order. Might make a change. All right. Outside, oh, it's like our favorite radio announcer. Rain, thunder, lightning, the well, I can make a moonwalk, kind of, if so I just click really slow. Con. Oh, I can make her dance. <laughs> Alright, enough of that. So, the DVDs were in here. My DVD collection. I'm not a huge movie buff. Gavin was is, though. I think a few of these are his. I should probably give them back soon. Jeez. So let's open it up. My DVD? I think... Hmm. It can't be locked. It doesn't even have a keyhole. Uh, it must be jammed. I think I can mm. jimmy it open with something, if I can find something that'll fit. Alright. What would fit? Oh, so no, that doesn't make any sense. Alright. What else do we see? There's just books in the inhaler over there. Um, what do we have on the desk? Maybe there's a screwdriver or something. That's pretty pointy. Maybe I can just use the dog. A memento. Gavin won this. No. You know what? I think this little guy's tail would fit in the gap. This idea is so stupid that it might just work. All right, beautiful. Can I take the magazines? I've already read it twice. Because that's how exciting my life is. God, she is such an exhilarating character. She just moans about her girl, her lost boyfriends, and uh, reads magazines, watches DVDs, and now we're put in the thrilling position of being able to get her to do what we want. Here goes. It fits perfectly. Keep oh me shit! The, the tail's just snapped off. Dag. You got the same pay as me. Well, this was one of my better ideas, wasn't it? Fuck's sake. 
Genius. Wow. What a chilling. Right. Let's see what we have here. Photo of me and Gavin. Uh. It's broken. I put it here out of the way. And here are the DVDs. Don't really care what I watch. I'll just stick some crappy horror on. Perfect. I love crappy horror. Ah, man, I was hoping that the phone was going to make, like, a crowing sound. Ah, there's that guy again. Jesus. Shit. I fell asleep. Huh. Gone eight. Phone's gone. Gone eight? Must be another British thing. Gone eight? Oh, that is really obnoxious. Let's answer that right now. Hello? Gavin? <sighs> oh, Rob. Hi. What's up? Oh, really? That's brilliant. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. That was Rob, my neighbor from the apartment down the hall. He has my package. Nice. The delivery man signed it and left it with him. He's bringing it over now. I'm just... Shit. I'm doing this. I have to get ready. Shit. Yes. Shit. Uh. <laughs> what now, Rob? Forgotten where I live? Uh -huh. Hello? Yes, this is Alex Davenport speaking. I... Oh, look at how sad Thank she is. You. I can't breathe. I can't fucking Ooh, breathe. Oh, what happened? What's happening? What's going on? Ah, there's that guy again. Alright. And again. I can't do anything. Okay, there we go. Uh, there's the... That's why they had that thing mysteriously oh land in my bookshelf. Help me. Come on, come on, take it. <gasps> now it's getting good. The sound design in this is real good. Real live, yes. Hey, Alex. Jesus, how bad is this storm? Oh, hey, are you all right? I'm fine. Thanks. Fine. I just had a bit of bad news. I'll I'll be fine. Sorry, Rob. Ah, oh, God. Gavin again? Nah, nothing to do with him this time. <laughs> Sorry. It'll be alright. I, I just need to sort some stuff out. Bad times. You know how it is. Hey, look, thanks for bringing this over. You sure? No, yeah. Seriously, I'll be fine. Thanks, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're not okay, Al. I know you like your own company, but seriously, you know where I am if you need me. Yeah, I do. And honestly, honestly, tomorrow you're going to have me sniveling on your doorstep begging you to listen, but right now I just need... I just need... It's okay, Al. Take all the time you want. Just let me know if you need some random sex Wait, later on. I won't be here tomorrow. Sorry, Rob. I'll call you. Please don't worry about me. Aw, oh, Alex. You can't make phony dates like that. I don't want to think about anything right now. The days are endless. I need to get ready to leave. There's always tomorrow. I'll call Mom tomorrow, too. Yeah. She has her train at midnight, but she's not even packed yet? Nice. That's pretty Outside, cool. Outside, the city begins to withdraw. A siren sounds in the night, blue light reflecting on brickwork as tireless paramedics rush to the scene of another trauma. Not poetry. On the pavement below, a woman hurries home, casting furtive glances over her shoulder as she pulls her coat tight around herself, the rain beating patterns on the fabric. Uh car drives past, music disturbing the peace. The woman looks at the man in the car. He turns the music down, calls something out as he passes. I see the woman start to walk faster. She flinches at the thunder. The car drives off. Another set of sirens now. Somewhere in the distance, the city is drowning. This is where we live. This is our world. Ebb and flow, endless, forever. It's the perfect time for loneliness. 
the perfect time to indulge the selfish, petulant monologues of the dispossessed. That's exactly what this is. But sometimes it's just like this, you know? Sometimes we can't help it. Sometimes we don't want to go out and hang out with your friends. Sometimes we don't want to talk. Sometimes we just want to wallow. You don't know me. You never fucking knew me. Hey! Go fuck yourself, you, you judgmental, self-righteous prick. I'm trying to get you through this. Cat. I'll see you soon. Why are you yelling at me? If it wasn't for me pointing that dog out to you, you'd still have a DVD thing locked. Jesus. I don't know if I want to play with you anymore. Oh, I guess she had a bag packed. Ah, it looks like Worm Tongue. Did he have a book? Well, I'm sure we'll find out soon. Alright. Well, they were saying rain earlier, but it's snow now, I guess. And. Well, Alex! It looks like the storm didn't reach here. The snow is still falling. What are you doing leaving the house clean, on a night like this night. without your jacket? Midnight. The train should be here any moment. Your mom would kill you. Uh, let's look into the distance. I love looking into the distance. I can't see the train. I hope it shows up soon. I'm freezing. <laughs> like I told you, bring a freaking jacket. A pile of luggage, including mine. I just dumped it there because it seemed like the right thing to do. Sounds legit. Harold Lang. He's a tall drink of water. Let's talk. talk let's look at An him. An intellectual looking guy. His jacket has elbow patches. Cool. She totally looks like she'd be into guys with elbow patch jackets. So, hey, you been waiting long? I, uh, I'm not sure. I lost track of the time. Tell me about it. I nearly slept through tonight. There's a clock over there, though. It hasn't moved since I got here. Oh. Great. So, uh, where are you headed? A little port town. Last stop. <laughs> Me too. I'm not staying there, though. Catching the ferry to... Auger Auger Peak, Peak Island. Island. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's not a common destination, is it? What brings you to the island, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> it's dumb. You'll laugh. Hmm. I'm headed there to dig around in the dirt and check out broken pots. Trust me, I won't laugh. Okay, fine. It's a bit of a personal pilgrimage. Ah, I won't pry any further. But, you know the funny thing? What's that? It feels that way to me, too. And he's pretty creepy looking. He's kind of like, um, oh, there's a train. Looks a little bit like train Stephen be King. Here soon. I think I can see it. It's going to be a long, boring journey. Fool that I am, I forgot to bring any recreational reading material. Nothing but piles of pornography. Pour over are some historical texts. Thrilling. Hmm. Do we have anything? What do we got? We have cracked dog model, so we held on to the dog. Alright. Got our tickets. Purse, what's in here? Cards, money, mace, the usual. Nice. So this guy's British too. It seems like every character, except for her, is British, but she's in New York. I know that there's a fairly large amount of English people that live in New York, but it seems like an awfully large My amount. My trusty lighter, 10 years old and still going strong. Nice, Zippos are the best. I'd like to say smoking is my only vice, but it's not. Nothing wrong with the smoke once in a while. The charnel house burial. I don't remember bringing this. Nice, that creepy book. Maybe he'll want it. I guess... I guess I should let go of it. I won't need it after tomorrow. Just one final reminder of Gavin I can do without. Hey. Hey. You can take this. I've already read it. Some of the pages Cold are stuck together. fiction. Yeah. Sorry. No. Not at all. It's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> Mine too. This one's great. You ever heard of Cassell? I can't say I have. Oh, well, he... Looks like this is us. 
That is one old ass train. Wait, did she drop something? There's something down hey, by her foot. Well, this is my lucky day. It's freezing out here. You guys got on board old Gloria now. She's nice and warm. I'll come on and show you to your cabins momentarily. I'll just grab your luggage. Off you go now. Seems like a nice enough guy. Just pleasant and Scottish. In New York. For some reason. Well, well. What's this then? Oh yeah, she did drop something. Who's a cute little doggy? I know just who'll like this. Oh. What the? Settle down, you. Oh, We're nearly man. ready. And if you start causing a scene now, I'll have to tell young Floyd what you've been up to. And we both know what'll happen then. <laughs> That's it. There's a good boy. You just be a good wee writer and wait, watch, and listen like you always do. It'll be over soon, and you'll be back home before you know it. Amazing. It the creepiness is finally starting to leak in, and it's getting creepier. Aye, I reckon so. Jesus. What? Why? And into the jacket. A little snack for later, I guess. Alright. It appear that's no ordinary train. Just like that was the end of part one and I'm gonna call it for the day I'll be back with sepulchre in another day or two I'm pretty ex excited it's a little bit of a slow start not a huge fan of voice acting um, but the mood that it very suddenly created at the end of this first chapter uh, definitely has me very interested about what's about to happen and I guess that's about it this is poor Brenton signing out reminding you to have a great life <laughs>